This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Let's uh, let's talk about John Tenta's plans after the release. He opens the John Tenta School of Professional Wrestling and would promote shows with himself and his students under the name of Intense Florida Wrestling. In 2001, John comes back to the WWF for two appearances as Earthquake. He's in the 20 man gimmick battle Royal at WrestleMania 17. And in December, uh, he works a dark match prior to a taping of SmackDown. Talk me through this. I understand bringing him back for the gimmick battle Royal, but why aren't we having him work dark matches to see if there's any meat on the bone? I mean, don't you know what he can do? Yeah, but you hadn't seen him in a while. Wanted to make sure that he could still go the way that he used to go. And a big part of his attraction was how well he moved in the ring. You need to know that that quickness and agility is still there. Ultimately, it doesn't work out. And John officially retires from wrestling in 2004 after it was revealed that he had developed bladder cancer. He's told he's only given a 20% chance to live, assuming he continues with the chemotherapy treatments. In August of 04, John wrote, I've never been kicked in the balls as hard as I was this past Wednesday. Thinking I was licking this thing, I met with my chemo doctor, ready to quake the cancer. Well, I now have a tumor in my left lung and two lymph nodes are enlarged in my heart. I go in for chemo tomorrow for a four day session. I've been given 13 to 18 months to live. I'm not giving up and hope to, of course, live longer, but that is what I've been told and that it is incurable. I don't really know what else to say. It all caught me off guard. I'll try to keep you posted, but no guarantees folks. Thank you for all your kind support and may God bless you all. And during his November 18th, 2005 interview on WrestleCraft radio, John announced that a recent radiation dosage did not go as planned and had no effect on the tumor. He also announced that multiple tumors had now spread to his lungs. And sadly he passed away on June 7th, 2006. And it's just way too damn young. I mean, this is a guy who was born in 63. So to lose him in 2006, my goodness. Did you keep in touch with John after he was gone? Or, I mean, when you found out about the diagnosis, was there any sort of conversation that you know of? Yeah. John had moved to Houston and John was going to MD Anderson in Houston for his cancer care. Same place that my wife goes and sitting in one of the waiting rooms uh, I remember seeing a big guy walking through the hospital with that same kind of gait you know as John Tenta he was completely bald and thinking to myself wow that, that looks an awful lot like Tenta and by the time I got up to go over there he was gone so I'm thinking eh, I'm seeing things and then the next week we were there, same bat time, same bat channel, and saw the same guy. And I got up and I ran him down, and it was Tenta. And he told me everything that was going on with him and um, talked about his battle. And we talked about my wife's battle. And sat in the, you know, sat in the waiting area there and just cried like babies and shit and, and, uh, hugged each other, exchanged numbers. And, um, we were going to like have dinner at the house and cook out and shit. And John was gone just that fast. What do you think his legacy yeah. will be in professional wrestling? I think his legacy is going to be as the earthquake. And I think it's going to be the guy that, you know, took Hogan down the way that he did on the brother love show. I mean, that was to me, that's his legacy. That's one thing everybody points back to and looks at. And I think he will go in the hall of fame. Um, cause he was a huge star and he was a hell of an athlete and a good guy. And gone way too soon. I mean, I think he died. Well, oh my God. Way too soon. Just a couple of weeks shy of his 43rd birthday. So, you know, 42, my goodness. 
uh, to, to have a battle with cancer like this. And I'm, as you said, that's something you're familiar with and whew, it's tough. We, uh, Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.